Good morning, Monday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, buenos dias, sambano, all that good stuff. It is a beautiful Monday morning here in Fort Clark Springs, Texas, near the Texas-Mexico border. Hey, Google, what is the temperature? Currently in Brackettville, it's 38 degrees. Brackettville is right across the highway. Anyway, what else have we got here? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day before. It's the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It is right now. So if there's anything you want to do, because right now it just slipped by, if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it. And then what else? Hey, Google, tell us a joke. How do trees access the Internet? They log in. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Merry Christmas also coming up. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Wednesday, I've got to go to Marble Falls, and then Thursday, i got something i got to do there. And uh, so we'll be doing a little traveling this week. <clears throat> got a washer and dryer coming today. That'll be the big noon video, the washer and dryer event. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's exciting to me. It may not be exciting to anybody else, but it is to me. I haven't owned a washer and dryer in 30, over 30 years. So anyway, but... I've been, I was living in an RV full time, and now I've got this little <coughs> sticks and no bricks home, and uh, and but I've got me a runaway uh, travel trailer on order, and I've got me a Ford Transit uh, van on order too, a little the little minivan. Any, anyway, uh, what else? Uh, hey Google. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? Right now in Fairbanks, it's 21 degrees. Jeez, the There's currently wave. a winter storm warning in effect. Jesus, the high today is going to be 31. Are you kidding me? What's going on, guys? So with that in mind, what else we got to do this morning? Uh, no shout-outs today. Oh, the ladies came. Oh, yeah, I'll give a shout-out to the ladies that drove up here from Kingsland, Texas. They came by yesterday and brought me a six-pack of Miller Lite for Christmas. Thank you very much. Yeah, I feel like Dean Martin. You know, everybody thought he was a total alcoholic. I don't think he was. I don't think he drank much at all. But be that as it may, uh, here we go. Got a lot of comments on the tiny home as usual. We'll, we'll do a few of those, and then we'll get some of the others. <clears throat> this is Glenn Quagmire. It says, yeah, sure add up on wiring, insulation, uh, zoning. He, see, he, picked, he found everything negative about that tiny home that he could find. Good for you, Glenn. Live your negative life. Uh, and here's somebody a little more positive. Kudos, Shinichi. Anybody with the name, last name Shinichi, uh, better be positive. This would be this would be this would be perfect for homeless people, helping them get back on their feet. Uh, well, you know the thing about that is, it's kind of like the old proverb. You know, you give a man a fish, he's got fish for one day. Show a man how to fish. He's got fish for the rest of his life. That's my philosophy on that. But be that as it may, let's go down here to, uh, here's one on uh, driving. Uh, PDT, the Transit Connect will be a perfect, versatile, easy to drive vehicle for you. Can't wait to see this play out. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, that's why I ordered it. Uh, for, well, not only can it tow 2,000 pounds, but it would be, it would make a good personal auto for me since I drive very little anyway. See, right now I get 45, 40, let's see, right now I get about 43 miles a gallon in the, in the Chevy Spark, 22 Chevy Spark automatic, which is excellent. And, and getting the, the uh, uh, van will pretty much, well, not quite, but almost double the, my gasoline bill uh, cost per month. Uh, however, I only drive about 600 miles a month. So 625 miles a gallon is, uh, uh, what, 24 gallons? Is that right? Yeah, uh, 24 gallons, that'd be 120 bucks here. A L- little less, $100 a month. <clears throat> so, you know, that's not horrible, but we'll see. Uh, this person, I may not even drive that much. I don't know. <clears throat> this is Scousered on the tiny home. How on earth does he or anyone else think this is a great deal? You can buy the materials for a fraction of the price. Well, you can buy the materials, and what are you, you going to do? Just lay them out of ground and wait for them to assemble themselves? I mean, yo, 
Wolfpack receiving on the tiny home. Thank you for this. You are very welcome. And then uh, this is an old, a video I did several days ago called Rusty the Assembly Man. And boy, I'm telling you, I look around at all the little things I had to assemble. Not that many, but about it's probably eight. And uh, yeah, geez, some of them were. This chair that I'm in was the most difficult of all of them because it, it, it was bulky. You know, I mean, you had to hold some pieces and all that. But anyway, uh, yeah, he says this person's name is the Sinner's Extended Universe. Well, that's a catchy name. Wait, I have that same shelf. Good. You mean they made two of them? You're kidding me. Here's one right here. Here's a good comment on the tiny home. He says, Donnie, brilliant individual he is, why have a tiny home when you can have a big home? <laughs> really, God, why, why would you do that when you could have a mansion? Come on, dog. Uh, Del Rio, Texas, on the border with Mexico. That's a driving thing. Il Grimm says, my hometown, baby. Yeah, it's a good town. I like it. It's a, I like Del Rio. It's right there on Lake Amistad in Rio Grande. Uh, Matt Wynn, it's a freaking shed. Big deal. <laughs> you got to love negative people. Don't you? And, and unfortunately, most people are. Uh, most people are negative. And then here's one here we're going to feed to uh, Matilda. It says, how the F is that worth 16000 Well, here you go for your mouth, cowboy. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. Well, we'll just remove you. You're not that dumb. Anyway, Matilda thanks you. Matilda got her some bacon and eggs scrambled uh, with text, with some toast, a side of hash browns and sausage, and a glass of orange juice. Thank you, Justin, whatever your name was. Bell Bonsch, solar insulation, gas burning, septic, rainwater, yeah, it, that's everything you can think of negative. It's amazing how negative human, the human race is, you know. Uh, you know and if you're positive, you're kind of, you'll be on the outside because people don't like you to be happy. You know, you've got to be miserable like they are. You're not going to be very popular. You know, if you come walking down the street singing and whistling and, you know, enjoying your life or going to the grocery store, people don't want to see that. They want to see people crying and miserable. Anyway, enough said. Found a home base. That's the one right here. Uh, boss man, I think Rusty moves every couple of months. I think I do too, but you know what, boss man? I do me, and you do you, and life goes on. S. Lee, driving, the Ford, driving talking about the Ford Transit and stuff. S. Lee, 319 a gallon here in Maryland. What a difference. Yeah, in, in uh, Del Rio, it's like 258, I think. Yeah, so that's uh, amazing. But yeah, that's typical. You know, in Marble Falls, Texas, it'll be cheap too. Uh, I'm tired of life. Well, then check out, guy. He, this is on the uh, tiny home. Where do you go to the bathroom? You just go in your pants, man. You just look how much money you save by not having to build a, 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 re a restroom. You know what I mean? And never take a shower either. You know, Naomi Longson, amazing. Nobody would be homeless. Should be homeless. <clears throat> well, you know, $16,000 to a homeless person sitting on a street corner uh, is a lot of money. You know what I mean? It's all, quote, relative. Uh, this is... Sean the Red, I'm convinced that this tiny home fad was thought up by the globalists and it, or whatever, you know, everybody is worried about the sky. You remember the story of Chicken Little? Probably most of you don't because most of you grew up when they didn't do the little stories like that. But Chicken Little was a chicken that ran around the chicken yard all the time saying the sky is falling. You know what I mean? She got hit on the head by something. Uh, something fell out of a tree or whatever. And then she said the sky is falling. And went around telling everybody that all day long. And that's kind of the way people we are. We hear it on the news, and then we go tell everybody about it. I'm a sailor on the driving stuff. Hey, Rusty, just a thought. How about that pickup truck you were following pulling a porta potty? <laughs> that would be a lot more convenient than a pee jug. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, just get you a porta potty and go down the highway. Yeah, good idea, dog. I'm a sailor, sharp guy. Uh, this is on. Uh, uh, this is another video I did on could you live in a storage building. Uh, Geronimo Lightfoot, for that much money I could build a house. You hear me? This, this uh, storage building that I did the video on was $36,000, a lot of money. However, it was 18 by 26, I think, and it was completed. I mean, it had, it had, it had insulation in the walls. It had, uh, even had some of the appliances, had a full bath, bedroom, you know, completely finished out on the inside. And, uh, they think that's a lot of money. Come on, guys. John Cowell, happy holidays, Rusty. Happy holidays to you, Gene. Uh, Brandon Quintana, 
why do you like why do you why do you sound like Hank Hill or why does Hank ask yourself this Brandon why does Hank Hill sound like me uh, this is on driving uh, P gramming one two three four chopsticks once you get used to using them they are useful and easy to clean and can you can use to cook also I tried to use chopsticks when I was in the Peace Corps in Asia and uh, I, I, I took me I could do it uh, I, but I never got so good that I could pick up like one bean <coughs> you know, like one pea out of a whole thing. But I saw the Asians doing it, man. They, you know what I mean? But you know, if you grew up that way, that's the way it is. This is a tiny home. Um, Monkey the raccoon. How cute. Have to say you sound like Dr. Phil. Overpriced shed, but still not. Who in the hell is Dr. Phil? And why does he sound like me? Uh, anyway, Mr. CJ, because I'm probably older than he is, right? And if I'm older than he is, that means I got here first. And if I got here first, that means he copied me. I didn't copy him. You understand? Mr. CJ Cab 64, cool driving video. Thank you, Mr. CJ Cab 64. This is AG. I would get this if I had some land. Good thinking, sharp individual there. And this is PJ Frog 10 on the driving stuff. Wow, I just looked at the Ford Transit. That vehicle gives you all kinds of options. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you, you can do... Yeah, you, of course, I ordered mine, my my Ford Transit Connect, the small one, uh, with the, the side windows, one, rear windows, two, uh, cruise control, three. I think I said rear windows, and then all the windows are that super dark tint. That costs 300 bucks extra. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's called a privacy tint, and so you can't see in, you know what I mean? <coughs> From the outside, but from the inside out, you can see fine. So it gives you a little privacy, which is fine. And uh, yeah, no, it's good. And the good thing about it is the passenger seat folds all the way forward, lays down flat, and on the back of it, it has like a little uh, indentation. So as you're driving down the highway, you could use that as a little table or, 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 or while you're inside of the uh, Ford Transit, if you sat near that, you could use that for a little dining room table. No kidding. And guess what else you can do? From the, pass from the driver's seat, you can step right over that little console right into the back. If you're driving down the highway and you need a TT, you got old PJ with you, then you just pull over and pee just like you do in the uh, uh, Class C motorhome, which is a real benefit to me being older than dirt. Uh, yeah, because when I got to pee, it's not like, well, I'll wait another 30 or 40 minutes. No, no, no. At my age, baby, when you got to pee, you got to pee. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, anyway. Sudi, oh Sudi, modifying the adventure. Yeah. Rusty, I thought you needed the rush P option that your class C provides. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do need that option. I got it in the uh, in the uh, transit. I do. I, I thought about that. That's one of the reasons I'm getting it. Sashi Smith on driving. Great drive, great plans, having fun. You bet, man. Life is an adventure and it's a comedy. It's a, a human comedy, guys. So just, uh, you know what I mean. Make it an adventure and enjoy it. Here's one more on the tiny home. Governor Newsom, this is a cute, this is a cure for the homeless in California. It's a cure, but see, everybody wants the government to take care of it. But you know what you should do? See, if these people, if, if there are jobs that they can fill that aren't just horrible, then they should try to fill those jobs first. Why? It gives them something to do, man. Sitting on a street corner all day picking your nose. I mean, I realize... There are some situations where, you know, they got there from health reasons or mental retardation or whatever. But by and large, some of them could find a part-time or full-time job and probably live okay. Driving, this is on the Ford Transit and stuff. Peggy Bagley, hello, Mr. Rusty, the man with the plan. You got it. Everything seemed to be, seems to be coming together. Have a good week, Rusty. You too, Peggy, Peggy Bagley. Thank you for your comments. This is 70 years. This is a video I did that I thought was cute. 70 years old and find out I'm black, okay? This is Stephen Greco. He says, funny, LOL. Yeah, you can check that out. Just do a Google, uh, check my videos for 70 years old and found out I'm black. And if you also want to see an interesting video, uh, just type in Mars and do a video search on my stuff and, and you'll go to, you get, get to go to Mars because I went there two times. Anyway, Gail Murray, tiny home, Home Depot. You have to own some tiny land. Very good, Gail. Probably rural. Sorry. 
Oops, too bad, average, poor person. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, whatever. RP582, the Casita was the best compromise. Uh, the Casita, it was a good RV. It was. I really enjoyed the, the time I spent, two year, a little over two years in a, a, a Casita made in Rice, Texas. It's a 17-foot RV and it has 80 square feet of living area, okay? And yes, it was. It was a very, very good uh, travel trailer. I had a pickup to tow it with. It was fairly economical, and it was a good setup. But, guys, I, I like to make life an adventure, so what do I have to do? I don't have to do it, but I do it. I change. Change, 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 no, change, 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 or whatever it is. This is Wayman Samang on Comment Call. Uh, will you be taking trike along with you on the trip? So glad you have electric. Yeah. Uh, no, probably not. <clears throat> Why? Because it takes up too much space. Just leave it here, dog. It's, it's, yeah, the electric is great because I've got uh, uh, some. I got uh, let's see, two small heaters on low, and uh, and inside right now it's like sixty two or sixty three in this room in that range, and that's why I got this on. It's it's cool, but you know if you dress for that, it actually feels quite comfortable. And, and I don't mind it. I mean, I could warm it up. Uh, I could, I got two, two more electric heaters I can turn on, but I don't want to because the 60 is fine. You know, it's, it's 60 in the kitchen, 62, 60, probably a little warmer in the bedroom. But no, it's fine. And, and, and I'll keep it there because it's 37 outside. And uh, so that gives me, see, 47, 57, uh, say about 25 degrees warmer in here. That's, I'm good, man, because uh, I got used to this when I was uh, camping. This is a uh, driving on, on the driving video. Uh, Charlotte says, Rusty, you do you. Thank you. But, Rusty, you do you. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, <laughs> but I can't understand you're not keeping the class C. Well, it's real easy. I'm not. Uh, it will take you anywhere you want to go and do so comfortably. You just need the excitement of constant change. Yeah, I think so. It's just doing me. If so, good for you. And we will follow your new adventures. Yeah, my exact thoughts. No, the, the Class C is a great deal. Uh, it's just uh, uh, I want to do something else. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the Class C motorhome is, is wonderful. Okay, the downside for me, somewhat, it is uh, you know I I am getting a little older, and uh, I, I just want to change while I can. You know, while I've got my health. Yeah, you know, I want to do as, as many different things as I can. Uh, how long will I keep the uh, I don't know. See, I, I can't, you know, you know, making forecasts and predictions are really useless, you know, because things change, you know what I mean? And, you know, you might know exactly what you're going to do today or pretty close, but as far as tomorrow and the rest of the time, you don't know. Things change, man. But anyway, that's all, re it's no real reason. I mean, it's just the way I am. I do me, man. I got the urge and it, it flashed in my brain like a big bright light. Get you a runaway, boy, and get you a Ford Transit Connect van and go. I am. Wayman Samang, oh, I did, uh, Wayman Samang, great com or good comment call. Thank you, Wayman Samang. Beer and bacon. Stroker Ace on the driving. I would keep the Class C. It has everything you need, but that's me. I'm glad you got the electric done on your home. Me too. It is so nice. I have hot water. I took a hot shower yesterday. I mean, a good one. and washed both my hairs. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Anyway, Williams, John, tiny home, reading about people grabbing multi-figures monthly as incomes and investments, even in this crazy days in the market. Any pointers on how to make substantial progress in earning would be appreciated. Uh, I don't have a clue. Anyway, here we go. Here we go right here. I invested $2,500 and I made $7,450 weekly trading with him. Let me tell you something, folks. Don't go for this scam. I'm going to eliminate this comment, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to pull it off. Why? You, you make your own choices. Don't listen to these people like this. You know, don't. You do your own investing. You know, and my advice is stay out of the stock market, okay? It's run by people that will beat you 100 times out of 100. And they live in New York City, and they're damn good. And, you know, how do you think they live in those multi-million dollar penthouses? Huh? off of fools like you. I mean, if you're doing it, you know, don't try that day trading and stuff. If you want to try some investing, uh, buy you some dirt, some land somewhere, and, and, and you do all right. Anyway, Randy Jowers uh, says, reading everyone's comments, we are full of suggestions, me included. What we need to remember is Rusty damn well is going to do it his own way. R right on, Rusty. Yeah, thank you very much, because I damn well am. <laughs> 
Well, we'll do a few more here, and then we'll shut her down. We'll do two more. Uh, Stephen Greco, hi, Rusty. Maybe I'm crazy, but why don't you keep your Class C, keep your home in the Class C for camping? If you can't afford both, I don't know. If you can't afford both, I don't know. Take care. And Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin, says, cool video talk. <clears throat> and the last one here, G Reg's life. Rusty, I can't keep up with you with all your adventures and diamond polishing projects. Thanks for setting an example for all of us and showing that life has twists and turns no matter what your age is. It does It, it does for me. I probably changed more than anybody, but hell, man, I'm only going to be here one time, dog. You know what I mean? And, and you know, age, you know, if the average, hey, Google, what's the average lifespan of a male in the United States? The 2019 average life expectancy in the United States of America is 78.79 years, according I'm, to World Development Indicators. I'm 76. Point seven nine. <laughs> yep. Anyway, guys. I found a few locations oh, for high point seventy nine inches near you. Low, 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 low. She goes off on a tangent. But anyway, guys, from Fort Clark Springs on a cool morning. This is Rusty. Sa cold, cold. I mean, cold morning. Saying thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day. That's the carpe diem clock in its own time. It's Monday morning. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it does not cost you one penny. You just click on the link, it'll take you to Amazon, and then you can buy whatever you choose if you're going to buy something from Amazon. So that's that works out to be a win for you and a win for me. Good deal, huh? But anyway, uh, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And uh, also, uh, you won't want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is what? Eat less. Ta-da! Simple math, right? And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? It relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. You'll never regret it. And then what else? Uh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier. How about that? And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So common sense says add good ingredients. Ta-da! And then you sleep good. Your blood pressure goes down. You're a happy person. However, don't watch the news. Do not watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? because <clears throat> it is the negativity from the whole universe delivered to you by professional, highly paid talking heads, because if they don't get the ratings up, they get thrown out, and there went their million-dollar salary. So will they take liberties with the truth? Yes. Will they exaggerate? Yes. So do your own research. That's option one, actually. Or option two, just read the news. Takes out all emotion, okay? Anyway, guys, with that in mind, Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be a biggie. Washer and dryer, baby. <laughs> anyway, guys, adios, bye-bye.